most children love their mothers more than the father because the father is nothing but just the man that's there. And if you didn't know, a woman can be married but still be single. Because she's doing everything. What is he doing? Nothing. Sleep. But when he is up, video game. And when he is up, can you get this baby? How sad is that? That's a single mother. Fathers, let me just encourage you that you're going to give account on how you ran that woman in the grave too early. Because all that's doing for her, unless God give her virtue and strength is cutting down her lifespan. Unfortunately, when mothers can't get very much sleep, they cannot get rest, they cannot, and they got somebody that's just over there getting all the sweet sleep. So you can be married and still be single. In fact, statistics show, as far as Christianity is concerned, most mothers do feel single because they have to do the word starts with E. Oh, everything. <laughs> but don't embarrass your kids in front of others. And if I could use somebody I know that uh, was doing her very best to please her father and not able to keep up with everybody else, the daddy just started cussing her out. You stupid. You embarrassing this family. And No, you embarrassing the family by cussing this child up, cussing this child out that wants to please you. Sometimes kids are only doing certain things to please their parents, and the parents still chop them down, embarrass them in front of the whole world. This is not a good thing, church. God doesn't embarrass you every time you mess up. Yeah. Ain't nobody said yeah. nothing. You be careful how you treat your kids. Yeah. <laughs> now, some of the negative attributes of a single mom, uh-oh, they hate the child because of the daddy, because he's a loser. I've seen this. That should never take place. Amen. That still is your child. That's right. Somebody say, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hate the child because on. of the daddy. You look, you acting like your daddy. You better be careful what you say, acting like your daddy. That this may be you that you don't see. Okay, man. <laughs> Ain't nobody said nothing. Amen. We're quick to say, oh, that's the daddy. That's the daddy. That's, that's, that's his people. <laughs> oh, that's good. Come from you, huh? No, look at the mirror, church. Look in the mirror, my friend. Some of that's you. It's a double whammy now. You're reaping what you sow. You understand? Most women hate their children or show contempt for their children when they hate the daddy. And let me just say this. I'm stepping ahead of a lot of my points here. But when you get a husband, although he comes first, don't neglect your children behind no man. Amen. Because they're going to say, Mama, we were here before this nigga came along. Hello. And he ain't even took off his hat yet, so he ain't staying around. <laughs> we still going to be here. Yeah. Aren't these some great notes? My wife and I put these together. Yeah. The Holy Ghost gave them to her and to me. Okay? Yeah. Selfishness, not wanting to miss out on life. So, can you watch my kids while I go drop it like it's hot? I can say this for men and women. Yes, that's true. Let's just, let's just don't, not even use single moms now. Are you selfish to the point that what you want to do, this is more important than spending time with your kids? Something wrong with that. It amazes me. I, I know somebody that says, oh, I just love. I love my, my son. I love him. And every chance they get, they're pushing the kid off on somebody else to watch. The child goes around in soiled pants and diapers, and his hair is always matted, and he stinks. He's always hungry. Easy child to take care of, but they love their kid. So they can go out and try to get a record deal, do some weaves, but you love your kid. The next problem with most single mothers, the most interesting one, is having multiple, having multiple uncles. Oh. 
I thought, I thought y'all would like that one. <laughs> Mama, Grandma had a lot of sons, didn't she? Grandma had a lot of sons, didn't she, Mama? Uncle Pookie, Uncle Do Dirty, Uncle. All these uncles. What happens with a woman when she has multiple men? The statistic says that the child grows up not to respect the mother. And they'll call their mama a nasty hoe. And they'll treat women. Oh, ain't nobody said nothing. Look at mama. See, these are some of the effects. Multiple uncles. Multiple relationships. And it's bad to bring this man around your son and that. After a while, your son, your daughter going to start recognizing, you know, uncle shouldn't be kissing mama like that. And they're going to start looking. And as time goes on, they'll recognize that that ain't uncle. Something going on. Mama can't keep a man. Why? She give it up too quick. Ain't nobody said nothing. And it's not a good feeling to grow up as I've heard, my mother wasn't like this, but to know your mother is promiscuous and other people know it. Mama flirting with the other men at the school, flirting with other kids' daddies. Maybe some mothers flirt with the kids, the kids' other friends. Some mothers are that dirty to sleep with the kids' friends. Are y'all listening, church? So to have multiple uncles... And to bring multiple men around. Let me tell you something. One of the biggest mistakes as far as culture is concerned, and maybe those from the old school should know this. I believe they do because they come from the old school. That when a woman was actually dating, she didn't bring the man around the kids at all. Amen. But nowadays, it's come, we're going to the park with Uncle So-and-so. We're going to Six Flags with Uncle So-and-so. Uncle So-and-so gave you this. The, men are in, the, the kids are introduced to so many different people making their life unstable. Ain't nobody said nothing. Come on, come on. Having multiple men destroys the structure. Now let me tell you how the child suffers behind this. Not having the ordained protocol of structure no, no, or no spiritual head. That's how they suffer. They don't understand structure and foundation and security. Okay? They feel abandoned. Mama's after Uncle Do Dirty, okay? He is everywhere. She is everywhere but where she's supposed to be. They feel abandoned. Does your child feel abandoned when you have to go? Maybe, that's not, maybe it's not uncle. Maybe it's friends because you've got to live your life. I've got to have some of me time. Well, you can never stop being a mom. You can't, you can't say, I'm a mom today. I won't be a mom for a few more hours. You can't do that, church. You can't pick up and put down. I'm learning this from my wife. There's some things you've got to do consistently all the time. You, I'm going to always be a father. I can't not be one because I am. I was made a father 12 years ago. I always will be one. I can't go back and say, I don't want to be a father for a few hours, so I don't have to take care of my kids or provide for them. You can't do that. You have to watch your kids, okay? So most kids feel abandoned because mom is chasing after the wind, has more time for everybody else but the child, dangerous. Dangerous.